Hi, I'm Gish Jen, and this is The Resistors. In this yeah. world that you've created, how did we get from here to there? The way that we got from kind of the America that we know to the auto America in my book is just by little acts of acquiescence. Things that we do every day, the little ways we give up our privacy, we say, oh, well, they can have our data, I don't really care, you know. Um, it's it, it mostly for, for convenience, you know. And it is true that even now there are people who are having AI write their emails, for example. All these little moments where we just sort of said, Sure, why not? As opposed to, you know, I would prefer not to. Let's talk about Gwen. Mm -hmm. She's a natural baseball player. Mm -hmm. Why baseball? So many of our American ideals are caught up with baseball, mm -hmm. right? The idea that we should have a level playing field, um, the idea that everybody should have a chance at bat, you know? The idea that you know, you never know what's going to happen. You know, the endless possibility. I think also, you know, it's 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 a it's a kind of it's a ritual area, mm -hmm. right? It's a way in which a place in which we we enact all our, our American ideas. It's governed by rules to which all agree, right? But rules that finally help us, you know, realize ourselves. So mm -hmm. there's a lot about baseball, which is just just says America. But you know, it is striking. I mean, it, and is it social commentary? Well. You know, here in America, our great metaphor is baseball, and yet it is a game which only men play at the highest right. Leg, uh, level, right? Talk to us about the knitting in this book. Well, you know, it, it always really struck me that, you know, I mean, this is a feminist book in right. many ways, um, but one of the reasons, you know, just thinking about women, it's always interesting to me the way women would kind of carve a little space out for themselves yes. by knitting. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, there's a way in which you're, you know, you, yes, you're doing whatever you're supposed to be doing, but you're also actually doing whatever you want to be doing. Do you knit? I do knit. I knit a lot when I was younger. It was part of my um, assimilation in the sense that my mother didn't knit. My mother was from, you know, China. Mm -hmm. They didn't do things like that. A neighbor down the street just kind of took me in. Oh. And, um, and she gave me actually a crochet hook, also the knitting needles, and her leftover bits of yarn, and she taught me. And um, and I you know I don't know why she took it upon herself to teach me, mm -hmm. um, but I you know but my first knitted things were you know made up of all these little scraps that Aww. she had. It was just very sweet. Gish, thank you so much for being here today. Oh, it's my pleasure. And thank you for joining us for a word on words. I'm Mary Laura Philpot. Keep reading. And pigeons, by the way, were used at all the ball games. You know, really? they would, yeah, that, that, that's how they used to get news from what happened, you know, who I won the no game idea. up to the newsrooms. They sent a pigeon. Yeah, it was all by, done by pigeon.